Making the league is hard. Becoming a star is even harder. In legendary status, that's rarefied air only a select few get to breathe. But there's an opportunity coming, and it's all about what you do with it. Listen, no one said this would be easy. You're gonna have to dig and fight for everything to get noticed on a field full of legends. So the question is simple. Be honest with yourself. Do you really have what it takes to make the 99 Club? Can you make sure you send over the revised contract so we can take a look? Yeah, absolutely. I'll send them right over. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. No problem. Take care. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting, man. <laughs> you're a busy man. I'm trying to take care of my people. And right now, you're my number one priority. All right. So what you got for me, Sosa? Well, it's like we talked about. Rosters are just about filled at this point. But you're still in a great position. For the right number, just about every team in the league will want to have you. You've shown flashes of greatness over the last few years. And everybody knows if they bring you in, there's nothing but upside. No, oh, man, if it was nothing but upside, we'd have more than these one-year proof deals, though. Well, your playing time hasn't been consistent over your first four years. So they're not trying to commit long term. That's all right. No matter how we look at it, it's nothing more than an opportunity, right? Exactly. You get to live in whatever city you want for a year. You can choose to prioritize immediate playing time or look for whatever team has the best scheme fit for you. There's upside no matter where you go. Hmm. I guess that's how I should look at this process too then, right? Okay, so what's everyone trying to offer? Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to get started. Yeah, I'll catch you later, though. Just the man I've been waiting for. Oh, hey, I, I'm... <laughs> I know who you are, that's my job, but you don't know me yet. I'm Andy Kisner, Director of Player Personnel. Oh, nice to meet you, Andy. Likewise. We're really happy to have you in the building. Thank you. I'm ready to get to work, though. Love the culture you guys have here. I think it's gonna be a great fit. Well, that's our belief, too. So look, we've got a lot to do today, so we gotta get moving. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Coach Carter! Hey, Miss AK. So, you probably already know this. It's not like you're a rookie or anything, but as Director of Player Personnel, I take great pride in making sure my players are taken care of on and off the field. Ticket requests, community outreach opportunities, travel plans, anything you can think of, I can help with it. I'm here for you. Okay, bet, I appreciate it. Like I said, the culture here was a big part of my decision. Well, it's not just me. It's throughout the entire organization. So let's get you into gear. We want to give you a chance to make sure you got everything you need for game day. Thanks, Andy. Of course.
Yo, what's up, Sosa? Hey, man. Just wanted to check in with you. How are you feeling? Excited to get to work? Yeah, man. Fresh start's gonna be nice, but I'm ready to get to it. You've got a golden opportunity, too. You might be a one-year deal, but they're gonna give you plenty of chances to prove it. You gotta be ready to take it and run with it. Honestly, I just want to give the team the best chance to win. Nothing new. That's what... Appreciate it, Sosa. Making the league is hard. Becoming a Yo, what's up, Sosa? Hey, man. Just wanted to check in with you. How are you feeling? Excited to get to work? Yeah, man. Fresh start's gonna be nice, but I'm ready to get to it. You've got a golden opportunity, too. You might be a one-year deal, but they're gonna give you plenty of chances to prove it. You gotta be ready to take it and run with it. Honestly, I just want to give the... Appreciate it, Sosa.
Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Jets and the Eagles, next on Madden Football. The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. First and ten, it's Hall. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hall again on second down. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. That is caught. It's Uzama. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Throwing on first down. Pryor. This one left side caught by Barrios. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Looking to throw on second down. Pryor. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Jets take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Oh, that's a great throw right there. And this is why this organization felt like they could sign him in the offseason and give him the keys to the offense. His decision-making has been top-notch. And they're hoping to see a lot of these when the season officially gets underway. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. They begin the drive with Coleman. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Coleman going to get it again on second down. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Looking to throw. Pryor toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. A good throw right there. And Charles, you know, this first preseason game is kind of a get-your-feet-wet type of exercise. The starters will likely only go a quarter or so and then watch the remainder of the game. So what, what would you be looking for if you were a coach on that sideline? Well, I think that since it's a get-your-feet-wet type of exercise, the game plan is going to be fairly simple. And what you want to see is how your quarterback has absorbed things. Is he making the right reads? Is he in control and calm while he's out there? And just going through the simple exercise you've given him so far and trying to execute well here in the early going. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. That's a good throw right there, and I know it's just the preseason. But let's face it, these reps are important for him. He's trying to learn a new playbook, hopefully mesh with his new receiving core. I know it's a lot to ask, but so far, He's looking pretty good. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Back to the ground with Hall. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. 
Back to throw. Pryor. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Good hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. So as they take it over, we step aside. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. C.J. Uzama ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jets are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. such a treat Charles in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory and that's exactly what they accomplished here today oh the trip home so much sweeter isn't it all the noise they heard before how tough it is to win on the road how tough it is to play in this stadium how hyped up that crowd's going to be they just used it as fuel came in full of confidence believed in themselves